Hello everyone, after a long break again, uh, there's a lot happened in my life, so that's why I took a long break. Welcome everyone uh, to my channel. Um, today I am gonna just do a few things. Um, first is gonna be the peels and then threads uh i didn't do threads for a while and i think i need some uh update like a lot around like a small i have some small lines here from my dimples you know <laughs> and and for the nasal labial um folds too i did it once so i'm gonna try it again but first i'm just gonna do the peel and um first peel that i'm gonna use it's probably everybody knows that one is the ordinary the red peel with the uh aja 30 percent and bha 2 percent the alpha beta hydroxy um so this peel you basically you can use it one time a week I uh, been using this one time a week together with the other peel. Obviously not the same time, but yeah, one after the other one. And I see uh, nice results. I like it. Uh, I didn't use it so often before, but I guess the consistency is the key. Um, it really helps with the uh, skin dullness and um, this one, especially like with the any texture irregularities, like, you know, if you have like any uh tiny bumps um so it probably helps with acne too like the other peel um helps with the congested pores so to, when you use it regularly it's really helpful and uh, this usually costs like it's really cheap it's like eight dollars in ulta sephora there's many places have it i would not recommend buying in amazon i think because they might get fake um and then the other peel I'm gonna do after the first one is the enzyme peel. This is by the Earth Harbor, uh, the Blue Tansy. The Blue Tansy? No, the Blue Tansy, I had some oil. Okay, this is Glow Juice. Uh, this one is really nice. As you see, this is like a gel. Uh, it's, it's really, um, I would say even um maybe not better but for those that have like um very sensitive skin and like can't take this one like this one is too strong for you uh i think the enzyme will be perfect because um it also helps with the dullness with the congested pores with acne um firms the skin um and also because it's a gel it's really like uh, feels cooling so you will not uh, feel any burning like the other people um, you might feel uh, so it's really nice have also aloe vera um, uh, the white willow bark um, red seaweed and the company is pretty good too I got this one actually in my FabFitFun box so that was like calculated in the price um regular price for this one is 40 dollars so if you get the unfaffed um, fun box sometimes you might get this one uh, so i'm gonna use this one after it also helps with the excess oil you know like congested pores and excess oil uh it really helps to helps the skin to make it glow <laughs> and show the uh, use youth youthfulness <laughs> all right so uh, let me just wash my face uh i don't actually have any um anything on my skin um just the moisturizer uh and obviously mascara um so i'm just gonna wash it off so i don't have any um dirt and oil and i'll apply this mask all right, so let's do the red peel. Some people I use it a lot. Some people use it um a little bit. I kind of like to cover my whole face in it. <laughs> For me, it doesn't matter if it stinks. 
um it's like i have sensitive skin but not that much i can take it i did peels peel before and i have a video on it um and that was my first peel and i actually did it like um three layers of the peel and it wasn't that bad and many people were like surprised that i had did so many um layers and that was my first time <laughs> yeah i guess the pain tolerance still matters i don't know yeah so it's all over the face you have to make sure that it's not gonna run into your eyes i could use like a uh something to apply because it's dripping everywhere <laughs> i found this one easier for me probably not in front of the phone but in front of the mirror better <laughs> uh-huh again i guess my my legs gonna get some too so i don't know if you watch my previous videos but yeah i had like pretty rough time last year um my husband left me and my kids suddenly in july uh i wasn't really that surprised because we had problems with 2018 uh, domestic violence and then uh he was in the mental hospital uh so it wasn't that much surprise for me but he left okay we were happy actually because we relax and then in this year um his mom was sick and she got into hospital so in the meantime where well, he was living there with her and in the meantime his sister got the power of attorney and she kicked him out of the mother house <laughs> unbelievable right um his own sister I would never kick out my brother of like my parents house or whatever who does that um so as a result he didn't have nowhere to go oh he actually started working when he moved out he actually started working so that was a good thing it doesn't matter for me but yeah for him now i'm gonna wait i usually say three minutes but i like to wait like more <laughs> I don't know if it's working more or whatever this way, but yeah. So his sister came with the power of attorney and she kicked him out of the mother house. He didn't have nowhere to go, so he came back to us. God damn, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. He's still here. As an example, I had a police here over in March, like four times uh basically like he called the police more on my daughter than i call on him um anyway also in march i had to leave i had to go to poland because my father uh, got sick in january and unfortunately he died in march so that was tough yeah and now i had the custody for my kids last week and i won they the judge gave me full custody with the supervised visitations can you imagine the judge even see oh what is wrong with him but he doesn't see it anyway so now there's a problem because he lives here so uh, the next step i have to be like file for divorce right away so please if you can like this video and maybe share or subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet that will really help me so uh, maybe i can grow this channel and make some money on lawyers because that's going to be very important anyway so that's it i'm on that stage right now uh he wants to appeal the custody so we'll see um yeah, and we just living day by day.
um, I'm still exercising, trying to after the after my father died, uh, I kind of like lost the motivation because I was exercising every day and every day on the treadmill, walking, running, on oh, my bike. I kind of lost the motivation, but um, hopefully um, I will regain it soon. Um, and everything will be okay. <laughs> Um, so I think I'm gonna wash it now. I can't I feel a little bit tingling here because I think this is like the uh, Sensitive spots. That's when like when I do a regular peel when I did this was the regular that, that was the uh, Sensitive spot that like peel a lot like right away um, Anywhere else I don't feel anything so now too, like to remove it, you have to be careful too when you're washing because you don't want this shit in your eyes, right? So I usually use uh, like a small um, face uh, rag um, to wash it uh, so I can avoid the eye area. All right, so I'm going to wash it now and after that I'm going to do the next peel. All right, so after the first red peel... Uh, I already feel like the skin is more refreshed and like it's breathing better. Uh, you can see, like I was saying with this uh, sensitive spot here, there is some redness. That's why it was like tingling, but that's going to go away. Um, it's very nice peel uh, if you can handle. <laughs> All right, so now the next one this one i like to use it after because it's so cooling it's so nice you see like a jet ooh, jelly jelly so for this one i use the like a brush and you have to be careful too because it's like running for this one i usually wait uh, till it's like dry out a little bit it's not like a peel off, it's not gonna be, but it's like dry. It dries like a peel off mask. But I, I really like it because of the cooling effect and it brightens the skin, the dullness. It smells good too. I have a nice ingredient that helps with all the things that I said and acne. So if you do this like one time a week, you will see the improvement. Just pick a day uh, or when you have time, like for example, I don't know, Saturday morning and do it Saturday morning. So you will remember when you have more time. All right, and this one, uh, like I said, I, I'll leave it uh, until it dries, so longer than the other uh, peel. But this one, since this is en enzyme peel, that's why it's very, very like soft and um, it doesn't cause any, uh, you know, irritation or there's no tingling. Um, it's like they're calling it purple paradise. <laughs> um, and like I said, it gives you like the youthful glow. But what else I want to say about it? Um, it is $40, but it's worth it. All right, so I'm going to hold it and uh, after it dries, wash it out. I'm back. I had to stop the video actually yesterday because my ex came back home um, and I didn't know if he's going to barge in my room. So uh, this is the next day. I uh, wash my face. Um, 
sanitize. I'm going to put the gloves. I'm not going to do the numbing because I usually don't do the numbing for the threads that I use. They not, well, and you just feel like the initial poke, but uh, nothing else um, after because you shouldn't actually. So I'm going to be using the 29G and 25 mm millimeters. I used them before and I'm going to try also the also 29G 25 millimeters the screw type um threads. Okay. So like I said I'm going to uh, do the folds and there is like a tiny line you probably can't see from doing that. <laughs> uh so just to give there some I guess additional support and collagen production. That's how they look like. Alright. I was trying to take this part slowly so I don't uh, break it and like remove the stopper by accident um i don't know if you can see the thread it's so tiny okay now well basically the bevel up and i sanitize my glasses too <laughs> i just want to see the end this end of the needle is so tiny um it's hard to see, but this is bevel up. Let's see. I'll start here. And you can see where the end is here. I didn't feel any blockage on the way. So it's like right under the skin. And before putting next one, I usually take out this one because then it's just like it bothers me, it's on my way. I see others doing it, they have like five of ten or 10 next to each other. I don't seriously don't know how they're doing it because this just like falling out too sometimes. So I go all the way to the end. Uh, twist. To kind of uh, help the thread like to stay in there. Hold the stopper and slowly take it out. Yeah. Sometimes there is a little bleeding. So you want to stop that too. What I like about the threads that you can do it 
in like like for example i'm doing it now and later you can go out um and nobody will see anything there's usually no bruises uh there might be some uh you know red spot or something but you can always do um put some makeup and it's not gonna be visible if you hit the vein which happens which happened to me too then you might also bruise see there's a little redness over steam but it's gonna go away All right, let's see the next one. Now put it next to it. Level up. So usually too, when I feel like even slight pain, that's mean like you hit something like maybe vein, small vein, um, or you are too deep. Um, and I usually pull out the needle a little bit and redirect. And that's usually help. I don't wanna hit any vein and have bruises. Yeah. Two in. I'm going to do the other side. Notice that the other side was always like easier. I don't know. It was going in easier. I don't know if now it's gonna this gonna be the case. <sighs> it's kind of harder because I'm right-handed, so it's not easy. <laughs> See, it was easier. It was faster. It went in like a butter, a knife in the butter. I felt a little pain when I was putting it in. So again, I pulled it out a little bit because 
uh, I thought, I think that was a vein redirected and then it just like, you saw it, it went like in like a butter. I also put my tongue behind. <gasps> yeah, here's nothing. All right, one more. Even with the glasses, it's hard to see the top of the needle. It's going to be here. See another one when in beautiful. Ah, <sighs> poking, poking. See, it's a little bit red, but it's gonna go away. <laughs> if you're sensitive to blood, don't watch. <laughs> Last time my daughter cut her finger, and <laughs> she was crying like a little baby, like she almost fainted because of the blood. I'm like, oh my. All right, let's see. I'm gonna do the lines. Now you know what? I don't see the line now. I think it's here. Okay, the two met.
see this one taking long. You know my nose is running. I think the problem with this one is, yeah, that I hit something like a vein and it wasn't going. Oh, it's fine. Okay. It stopped. So now the other side. I will have two left. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to use it. Up. See, this one went easy too. I don't know. I think sometimes it depends also on the... If there is any scarring too. Because I had a acne. Obviously, I am still getting some. Uh, and there might be some scarring under the skin that it's hard to... Uh, hard for the needle to uh, poke through. I don't know. But yeah, always this side is harder for some reason. One more here and now see where else. Yeah, I'm going to the gym later. Trying to get into the habit again. So I hope, yeah, I'm not gonna have any bruises. <laughs> Last year we had this challenge at the work nine week challenge for uh, activity. So basically you can track any activity. Uh, it's being converted to steps and we pair, pair, like pair. We have groups of coworkers, like we create groups and we all um, do this together and um, uh, and then there, there is a group obviously that it's gonna win. I think there is some prize money. We'll see how this goes. But some people just do a lot of steps. I was doing like sometimes 30,000 a day. And after the challenge completed, because it took so long, nine weeks, that I got into habit. I was just using treadmill, bike every day. So it's really helpful. It's starting, I think, in uh, in a week, about a week. So I'm getting into the groove again and see. This one still bleeds. Hmm. Another one. Maybe here. I'm just looking in the mirror. It's better than the phone.
see again went easy stay there Maybe I'm going to put one more on each side. All right, where are we headed? Here. I feel like sometimes it's just not working. Yeah, it's not going in this one. Okay. And there's something, I can feel it. Well, I'm gonna have less on that side. I'm gonna try this one. My left side is gonna be more improved <laughs> than the right side. And again, this one was easy. <sighs> Nothing. Perfect. Now my skin is so dry because of the alcohol. I'm gonna put some moisturizer later. Let this sit in. Um, and that's it. I'm not gonna use the screws today. Um, I'm gonna use another day. But that's where it is. There's the treads. I hope you like it and you learned something. <laughs> Be careful when you're doing it if you want to try it. And um, remember that every time you feel slight pain, even slight, because you know the veins are very tiny. Um, that means that there might be a vein, so just pull it out a little bit and just use the different direction, go into different direction. And what I do usually the, the first, with the first needle, I just go usually straight in to poke through the skin. Uh, and when I feel this little, uh, like, you know, the 
the little let go like you can feel like the skin letting go that's when it's like i feel like it's the perfect uh plane um and depth that um that's when i uh, move the needle um the way i want it to go um so that's what i do some people going like straight and directly this way i just poke a 90 degree angle and then go in um so i'm gonna have some redness for a while but this is gonna go away um so that's it i hope you like my video you learned something and you subscribe to my channel uh i need a few more to reach thousand subscribers um so i will really appreciate if you do that and i will see you in the next video bye